So, do you think you're gonna like the chicken pho more or the lasagna? Oh, the lasagna for sure. Which camp food is best? These meals are all simple to make, but are they good? We are going to do a taste test of a bunch of different backpacking camping meals. I get a lot of questions on my channel and just in life about what meals to pack and what meals to make when you're camping. I'm not a huge cook. I tend to either bring really, really easy meals that I don't necessarily want to recommend to people, like simple granola bars and stuff, or easy meals from dried, packaged meals. So I bought five different meals and we're gonna do one each day. We're gonna make them here and taste test them and then tell you what our preferences are. I tried to get different meals from different companies. I got two of the meals from Peak because they have pictures on the packaging so it's, I think it's more enticing. Tonight we are going to start with the beef chili mac. One and a third cup of boiling water. Jesus. Blow your head off. See if your thing melts. Wait till you're done pouring to stir. See you in 10 minutes. Spent 10 minutes. And we have warm, hopefully perfectly reconstituted meal. This is two servings, but I would totally eat all of this. We're gonna tell you our initial thoughts on taste, how we think the texture is, because sometimes food doesn't reconstitute very well. Then we're gonna rate how filling the food is, and then finally we're gonna give our, on a one to 10 scale overall, 10 being really yummy, one being I wouldn't eat this ever again unless I was absolutely starving in the woods. And we are not sponsored, so this is completely honesty. What's your initial thought on taste? One to ten, ten being amazing. I'd say taste is probably an eight. There's a lot of spices and seasonings in it. I'm gonna say the taste is like a six. I think it could use something. It seems like most of it is reconstituted just fine, but some of the beans are not. They're still like dry on the inside. Texture probably a six as well for me. Probably a six for me too. It's good though. I would I would take this camping, I think. <clears throat> it's uh, 370 calories per serving. So. It's not very many. Keep that in mind. Ignoring the calories, I say filling probably an eight. We'll do a seven. Seven? <laughs> Colt, move. <laughs> <laughs> Colt. Let's go get it. <laughs> Overall, I give this a 6.5 out of 10. And I give it, give it a 7. <laughs> I think it is spicy enough. Hmm. It tastes like chili. I'm not gasping for a glass of milk. Corey will be joining in a little bit today. I'm excited that we are going to get to try another food today. Today is Mountain House brand Pad Thai with chicken. I haven't had this one before. I've had some Mountain House. I really like their products. So we'll see if this is a good option. This is another two person meal, 240 calories per serving. So it just seems like it's a little bit on the low side for calories. And we're back to Jody's <laughs> YouTube channel. Yes. <laughs> Ignoring texture. I have thoughts about texture. <laughs> what do you think of the taste immediately? I'm gonna go with a seven. I'm giving this a 9.5. I really like this flavor, but I also really like Pad Thai, so. I think this is delicious. I do think it would be even better with peanut butter powder in it. Texture. Te texture, I'm gonna give it a seven. Mm. There's not a whole lot of texture. It did reconstitute itself pretty well. I don't know. You think it's like uh, not much texture as in it's kind of mushy? Yeah, it's kind of noodly. I agree, 
but I also, my first bite, had like, I don't know if it was chicken, I think it was chicken. And it was, I kind of wanted to spit it out, but I didn't. Mine was like a twig. It felt like I was chewing on like a half dried twig. And that might just take more time. I'm gonna give the texture a four. It's a contrast between the very, very soft noodles and veggies and then like the chicken that was. Do you think this <clears throat> is filling a scale of one to 10? I'm gonna say a four. I'm gonna say the filling is a six. That could be because I had two chunks of cheese before I started this. So maybe I'll go five to like even out the fact that I had cheese. When you're eating outdoor backpacking food that's been dried, I never really expect it to reconstitute perfectly. The texture was kind of bad at first. Overall, I think the flavor was really good and I would definitely take this on a trip and eat it again. Uh, Corey's overall was six and my overall was 6.16 kind of makes it sound not very good 6.16 isn't that great of a score but I think it's because the in my opinion the texture wasn't great and in his opinion that it wasn't that filling so if you're just looking for something that tastes good I guess we think it's pretty good don't you just love our shirts though but I'm going to be making the chicken coconut curry meal today white chicken rice and vegetables with the coconut curry sauce this is the type of meal that I would buy like not for a video just to take camping if I was gonna just pick one meal for an overnight I'd probably pick the curry so I think I'm gonna like this one that's kind of my bias this is higher calories than the one yesterday 430 calories per person. So that's pretty decent. I'm going first on the taste. 10. That is so good. I think this is probably the best backpacking meal taste-wise that I've ever had. But I also really like curry. I guess I'm the opposite. I think I don't think I really like curry. <laughs> it has a lot of flavor to it. I already know this one's going to be my favorite now. Sorry to the other ones that I haven't even tried yet. I'll give it a 7. Even though I'm not a fan of curry, I can tell that it, it has good taste. It's not just like slop. Like it's got full chunks of carrot, chicken, lots of chicken. This one was a little bit more expensive than the other brand, so that also is probably why there's more chicken and more vegetable chunks in it. I would say the texture is very good. I haven't had any chunks or... I'll go a 9 on texture. I'll give it that. I'm gonna go 10. There are bigger chunks of chicken in this meal than there were in the other meals. Yeah. And they're not dry on the inside. We've been following the directions exactly how they say to. Following the directions as they're written, this has the best texture. I think the other ones that we have tried, you could let sit in the bag longer. You think it's very filling? Yeah. I'll give it a 9 for filling. I'll probably do a 9 too. This is delicious. Mm. Overall, my score is 9.6. And mine is 8.3. So far, this one's in the lead. Corey and I are going to do the Backpackers Pantry lasagna, as well as the Good To Go Chicken Pho. We're doing both of them because the Chicken Pho is just one serving size. So we're just gonna add that to the two servings of lasagna. Lasagna, Corey is a huge fan of lasagna and so am I. I'm assuming that I'm gonna like the Pho more and Corey's gonna like the lasagna, but we'll see what they're like. So. Do you think you're gonna like the chicken pho more or the lasagna? Oh, the lasagna for sure. But I need a caption. Stir and reseal. Hang out for 10 minutes. Think about how big the universe is. I think this one's about the experience. Very good. 
I really like the taste. I love the lime. I already want to try more of their foods. Taste, one out of 10. I'm gonna go with a nine. What do you think? I'll go with an eight. What's the texture like? I think it reconstituted very well. I'm gonna give it a nine there. Yeah, I'm gonna give the reconstitution, the texture, a 10. I think the noodles are perfect. I think texture is easier to do with a soup than with most meals. 390 calories per serving. So this is a hearty meal for one person. I think this would be really good on winter camping trips to get like warm soup into you. With some bread. Yeah, with some bread. Pretty filling. What would you rate it? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna say nine too. This is a lot. Overall, I give the chicken pho from Good To Go a 9.3. I give it a 8.6. Oh my gosh, it's thick. This is like, looks like lasagna. Legit. Wow. It smells really good. This one gets an 11 out of 10 for scent. It smells so good. I mean, that's a lot of food. 340 calories per serving. So that's pretty good. I guess I'm not blown away like I thought I would be. It smells amazing. It looks very impressive. The taste is a little more bland than I would have thought. That's exactly what I was thinking. I think I'm gonna give it a seven in taste. I think I agree. I'm gonna give it a seven, barely. I'd say the texture's amazing. I mean, look at that. That's like perfect lasagna. I'm gonna give it a seven, I think, for texture as well. What do you think? I think I'll give it an eight. I think I'm gonna give this one a 10 on filling. I am full and I still have some left. We did just have pho, but this is a like lot of- half a serving of pho. Yeah, this is, and this is a lot of food. I have more than a half a serving of this left. Right. So I'm giving it a 10 on filling. If you are looking for a meal that is going to make you feel really full, this is it. I think even out of all the others that we tried, this is the most filling for sure. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would agree, I'll give it a 10. Overall, I give this an eight. And I give it 8.3. Colt, what do you think? Colt's giving the camera the hind end. All right, drum roll. Jody's, we're gonna start with Jody's favorite. Oh, of course. <laughs> Jody's favorite meal was <laughs> the chicken coconut curry by Peak. Corey's favorite meal was chicken pho by Good To Go. It's kind of a surprise, but yeah, it was good. It was very good. Jody's second favorite meal was the chicken pho by Good To Go. So that one was a good one. And Corey's second favorite was the chicken coconut curry by Peak. So we had the same top, top two. two. The pho by Good To Go and the coconut chicken curry by Pete. Third for Jody was the lasagna today by Backpackers Pantry. And Corey's number three is also lasagna by Backpackers Pantry. So we're kind of on the same page. The fourth for me, my fourth favorite was the beef chili, beef chili? Yeah, my fourth favorite was the beef chili mac by Peak. And Corey's fourth favorite was the beef chili mac by Peak. So our least favorite of these was the same as well, the pad thai chicken by Mountain House. I, I don't think any of them were bad. I think that was one that had chunks that didn't, just didn't reconstitute well. Yeah, you probably could fix that one by just letting it sit in the bag longer, but by we following, following directions. Yeah, we followed the directions and that was our least favorite. Other things that you can take into the Boundary Waters if you want a similar kind of meal but don't wanna buy these, these kind of meals can be a little bit expensive. What you can do is you can bring things like ramen noodles with some vegetables, even from your own garden, and pack that. I've eaten a lot of just ramen noodle packets in the Boundary Waters for snacks. There's not a lot of nutrients there but you can substitute, add things into it. Um, another thing you can do is you can pack uh, different kind of dried soups. You don't have to get like a specific camping soup to bring on a camping trip. If you go to the grocery store, they oftentimes have soups that you just add water. Pancake mix, 
you can get those little cups of meals. The thing with those is those can be harder to pack. Like if you get a mac and cheese in a styrofoam cup, those styrofoam cups often like get smushed and destroyed in the camping process. But this is what I like to do. I think it's easy and it's light. Like and subscribe. <laughs>